This is a quick video on connecting your Quest 3 to your PC via AirLink. This requires purchasing nothing. My setup is that I have a router that has wireless 6. I was looking and I noticed that everyone was talking about wireless 6E, which it makes it seem like you need that but I was able to go into the settings and enable this and run my PC application. But um, basically I go into the settings on the Quest headset. Go ahead and get on your Quest 3 um, after it's set up. And then I went and I searched for in the settings because I didn't see it. It's in there. It's AirLink. So uh, when I went to AirLink, I was able to see my PC I could select it and then it was a pairing process where it said it will show you a number and confirm that this number is um, the same number and so the only thing that I had to have installed which I had already installed and I tried to see if there's a different version but apparently it's the same it's the um, the meta quest oculus windows app and so you just have to have that set up and open and then I was able to pair once I was able to pair I was getting my PC feeding through and the first thing that I didn't know about is that I need to set the I guess the megabits per second to as high as possible and so uh, next thing I did was I launched my Steam app then I launched my app in Steam and uh, Steam VR opens up automatically if it's set up correctly. And then uh, that works good. Then you're able to launch your app on the Steam PC app. And then that loads up and everything is good. From there, if I click on like the menu button on the left controller of the Quest 3, you're able to find this screen where you can adjust the, the, you know, the, the data rate or bandwidth and then from there you just uh, I probably would recommend um, you can use the fixed if you want but there's a variable one you could set it to 200 and it automatically goes lower if it needs to but um, if you really want if you're able to sustain a fixed bit rate uh, to I've set it to 200 megabits per second and what that does is it cleans up the image so it's not grainy and shifting around because uh, I guess the bit rate is slower so the only thing I have remaining, I was then able to go into the Quest PC Windows app and I did see that the Quest 3 was listed there and I was able to access more settings as you'll see on the screen. Um, there is a uh, rendering scale, resolution uh, uh, slider, that and then uh, I set mine to 90 hertz which is not 120 but 90 is still very nice hope that helps you um, I'll put a link to the only thing that you would need which is the meta um, app the, the Windows app that's it